back in the house family with another video and what we're going to be doing in this particular video is stepping away from talking about modern women and all of their foolishness but let's kick some of that stuff that the fellas can relate to that 4.0 so here's the scenario starting out as young men boys whatever you want to call it we all got a life and a story to tell for all of us it starts at home then as we get older we start to progress with our family to kick it in with our homies in school and let's face it sometimes in our schools we had crazy experiences a lot of them good but some of them were bad in some cases but we all learn from them but some brothers just can't let some experiences go without further ado let's get into it <laughs> Oh, it's cold out like there. Mm. Mr. Mike, how you doing today, man? Oh. Jonathan fucking Freeman, man. You used to pick on me in goddamn gymnastics. I had gym class, used to pick on me. Anthony knows, y'all remember me? Y'all remember oh, Anthony? Man, I've been waiting on your ass for so long, bro. <laughs> man, I've been waiting on you so long. Nigga, it's been 20 years, man. You picked on me, you threw me in the garbage can, bro. You remember that? Man, who want this problem, man? Nah, this is how get up, man. Get up. 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 No problem, folks. Let me make it, man. Let me make it. I need to cut my hair. Shit. All right, man. I'm going to focus on man. God bless you, man. Nah, fuck you, man. Shit. Man, I'm going to kick that nigga ass. I'm going to whoop that nigga ass. Yo, y'all are too damn funny. Now, the reason why I showed you guys this is that I think everybody can relate to this situation because growing up, how a lot of us grew up, we all at some age got to a point to where we had some dude who was trying to flex on us and we had to make a decision whether to stand up or whether they keep kind of being treated like a little bitch. Most of us decided to stand up, but this guy let it pass off for years, years and years goes up in the barbershop, sees the person who used to bully him at school, and then basically started, you know, taking his clothes off as if he was about to do something, saw your man and said, I think I'll be sitting my ass down now. I don't know if this was a skit or not, but the one thing I can say is you can't tell me brothers ain't got no talent. Until next time, I'm out. <laughs>